Don't touch that dial. We're listening to the Hardly Heroes podcast. And we'll be back after traffic and weather. Back to you, Bob. Whoa there, Nelly. Who's Nelly? Okay. I don't know. Like uh, with the band aid on his face? My imaginary friend. With the band aid on his face? Wasn't it under his eye? No. Uh, yeah. no was it, it under? Yeah, it was under his eye. I don't remember left or right. A lopsided that... football player? Yeah. What? Don't, don't they wear <laughs> band aids too? Oh, no. They just wear the marks, right? Yeah, the eye paint. Yeah, the rapper, Nelly. He had the yeah. band aid oh, on yeah. his face. Not Nelly Furtado? No. Okay. Not, ne- well, I mean, back in her gangster days, yes. Gangster days? Yeah. Back in Timbaland days? You don't even want to <laughs> know. <laughs> What is what is that Nelly song? Uh, I don't something know. take off all your clothes. How does it go? It's getting, getting hot, hot in here. here. Yeah, it's yeah. getting hot in her. 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 Take off all no. your clothes. Exactly. Get it right. Sorry. I mean, Who's taking off their clothes? Who? Not me. I mean, I will if you want me to. I'm a tidbit chilly. I can tell by the sweat here. You're gonna yeah. put on the hood. <laughs> all wrapped up. <laughs> you need funny. to get the I'm blankie all, out. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Oh, dear. I see that you found your watch. I did. I did find my watch. How the hell did you lose your watch? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, 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 here's uh, the thing. Uh, my dog ate it. The, okay. Do you want the shortened version of the story? <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it was at night, and I was like, oh, I need to charge my, my watch. It's not on my wrist right now. Where is it? It's not by the side of my bed. Okay. It, okay. It's not anywhere. I spent about two hours looking through every bit of the house and the backyard at night and the backyard at n- because we have dogs like i wasn't oh. sure uh and I, I just i was checking all the bases and then i found out there's a little thing on the app on your phone oh i was gonna ask because there's that in reverse you can ping your phone if you can't find your phone from your watch and you can ping your watch from your phone nice didn't, I didn't know, know that. that for two and a half hours uh, I and, and then I did, and it was inside of my bed. I must have fallen asleep with it on the night before. That's funny. And then it, right in the middle of the bed underneath one cover. You want to know why, why he lost it? Because he's a pretentious asshole. Well, you know, it's a thing. It's just an Apple Watch series, too. You That's know? it. You know, yeah. it's no big deal. It's, yeah. NBD, bro. NBD. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how was your guys' week? <laughs> did you guys lose your iWatches? Nope. Nope. You got them? I don't nope. lose a whole lot of things. If I lose it, it is a weird fucking situation. Dude, it was I was like, "Oh my god, I spent way too much money on this to lose it." I'm I'm so it only, mad. It only comes off once and that's when I go to bed. Well, and, every, or am I take a shower? With everything I have, um I uh I have a place for it. Everything has a place. Sure. If it's if it's not there, there's a secondary place oh, for I, it. I and if that. it's not there, then there is something seriously wrong with this fucking world. His his secondary place for everything? Butthole. That's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, yeah. That's a good cubby It's comfortable. Hole. It's warm. Right? Fits a lot of stuff. It does. <laughs> I One time, I just put a whole loaf of bread in there. Uh, it really worked out great. <laughs> Must have been soggy. Oh, yeah. It was, you know, but it, it, oh, I man. knew where it was. Uh, <laughs> it it was still in the wrapper. I could I'm still... not going to be able to eat bread for a couple of days now, people. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> gross. So, speaking of bread, did you know that they're letting cats into the Westminster Dog Show now? I thought that was good. <laughs> Welcome eye. to the Hardly Heroes Podcast. I did actually hear about that. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Welcome to the Hardly Heroes podcast. I'm your host, Buddy. I'm Manny. And I'm Aaron. <laughs> All right. Episode 39. Yeah. Whoa. You know, we're getting old. We are. We're getting up there. I'm not. Uh, no. Not yeah, 39. Not. Ooh, that's a ways away for me. For you. It's only a few years away from me. Yeah, yeah. it's getting there. I'm all almost almost to forty. That's crazy. Oh dear. It's well, so we weird. just you know turned thirty. Else? Yeah. <laughs> no, that was our year is coming up here pretty soon of doing the show. Yeah. Yep. Oh. It is. We got to do something special. Yeah. We do. Year. We're uh, working on some stuff. Costco steak, a little broccoli. Do you maybe... even know that day? No, I that don't. That day. 
You, I you need gotta, to figure. I need to figure to, it out. Uh, that means I need to listen to the old shows. What episode was it? It has to have been within the first five, seven or eight, or seven or eight. <laughs> yeah, no, it no, was one that I was already on. Yeah, I because think. Manny. Oh no, no, no! I think it was still one with Nick. So it was five, four. Three. Well, Manny was only on two shows. I think it was six. Oh. Because that's the one I helped you guys record, but I wasn't on the show. Oh, there it yeah. is. Dang. I was miming in the background. All right. Let me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little did we know that yeah. he was, you know, working his way in so he'd be a host. Just kind of slowly getting in. Just tap it in. Just, <laughs> Just give it a little tap, tappy. Tap. What are you too good for your home? <laughs> so, yeah, we're working on uh, something special for, you know, the one year anniversary of us doing the show. Awesome. We will probably be announcing it. Yes. Probably next week oh. or the week after. Well, can I? Can you let me know after no. the show? Okay. Surprise. Uh, um, another surprise today. We are, as you could tell, <laughs> the uh, intro was live as we spoke over it. Yes. yes. Uh, we don't normally do that, but uh, we are using a soundboard today. Fancy. Schmancy. We're going to give it a shot. We'll see how uh, this goes. Can I don't, you give us a I'm, little taste of maybe some oh, cool dear. ones you um, have in the back burner? Well, let's see. Maybe let me not see. primo this is ones. A, this is let's one see. that everybody recognizes, right? Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. Oh, yeah. There we go. Jesus Christ. There's a T-Rex in here. That was, that was loud. That was a little loud. That was a well, little loud. I'm going to have to work on these levels. Maybe the levels. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Godzilla. All right, we're good. All right, let's that see. That was it. Godzilla. I said T-Rex. How about this one? Oh, I <laughs> Oh my no, God. is that a little too much? Man. <laughs> you know what that is? It's Whoa. Manny being rapey. That's a rapey oh noise that Manny my, has gotten. You, that, what that is called ear rape. It is, but I mean, listen to that. That almost sounds like somebody getting oh, raped. Oh dear, I don't. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, oh come on! What the hell? See what I mean? That's Woo. just okay. That's he. What's fun, what's true dark story? And tr- scurry stuff. True story. He recorded that from his victim. That's what it's, I'm saying. You know, it's it's okay. I want to. I wanted to show you something, but I have it on my iPad. But then I have the soundboard. Oh, it's the worst. To kick this off, man, this is uh, it's a little tough. Oh, dear. here, you guys talk for a second. I gotta pull I up. Hi, buddy. So, yeah. <clears throat> how was your uh, uh weekend? Uh, my uh weekend was great. That's uh, good. yeah. Do you want to hear what I did? It's a little. What did you do? Very out of my character. What? What? But I went to PBR. Do you know what that is? Pabst what, Blue uh, Ribbon. Uh, that. Yes, that is a tasty beverage. Mm. But I went to professional yeah, yeah, yeah. bull riding. Bull yeah. riding. Is it, was it fun? I've never been. Actually, to tell you the truth, it was freaking awesome. Yeah, never been. I've been to a lot of race car, uh, a lot of sprint car events because of my family, but I've never been to one of those things. It was fun. Man, I saw a guy pretty much fold like a oh. taco. Oh, shit. He fell on his head and literally, like, it looked like his knees like hit his head. Oh like, my goodness! I had never seen anything like that. Yes. Do, 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 do we have tacos? No. No, we don't have. God. Tacos. Damn okay, it. I'm ready. I've got this All photo. Right. Uh, <laughs> this is something that I wanted to show Buddy. Um, I think it's gonna scar him for life. Yes, so, uh, I love uh, that. Pure entertainment, right? Perfect. No, I love it. That's my favorite bitch. thing in the world. So, and I have a sound tied into it. Oh my on the gosh! Soundboard. Maybe turn it down a bit. I did. I did. <laughs> I tried turning it down. Sorry for you, listeners. Let us work out the kinks on this one. Yeah, we're trying new stuff. Uh, trying to growing, you know, mix it up. Growing pains. So we are all in love with the famous Margot Robbie. No, no. Don't ruin her for me. Oh, don't yeah. do, do it. it. Um, please don't do it. She's a beautiful don't. woman. She is. Oh, she's, she's showing her acting so chops with every movie that, uh, sexy. That, that comes around. It's true. She's doing better and better every time. I'm afraid. She made Harley Quinn her her, her own character. The last movie uh, I watched, uh, uh, the last tech movie I watched was with her, The Big Short. Uh, came mm-hmm. out about the, the housing yeah, collapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was literally just a, yeah, just a cameo of her it sitting in the bathtub describing like You're going to ruin stocks. my spank bank. So. Which, tell me. New movie she's going to be out in. Yeah, uh, it's about it's uh, it's about an actual person. Oh, uh, biography. Yeah, uh, right. biopic. No, biopic. Yeah, there it is. Um, she's playing an infamous ice skater. Oh, I know. Shh. Okay, please look at the picture of Margot Robbie. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen this picture. Tanya Harding. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's got mom jeans on. That was a little too low. Uh, What was that? Tanya Harding. There it is. (laughs) She's got mom jeans on. He said this. That was good. I like it. This whole. Let's just edit that part out. She looks a little thick. Oh, 
don't, dear. Yeah, they have stuffed her sweater full of stuff. I don't. I, I looked at pictures of Ta- Tanya Harding. She's not that thick. They kind of. They just try to make She's her look a figure skater, like bulky. Like, yeah, they just try to make her look all bulky. Yeah, mm. isn't that too bad? Isn't that so sad? No, it's, you know, guys uh, do that for roles too. They're ruined. Uh, Jared Leto yeah. did that for the guy who uh, shot John Lennon. He played the guy who shot John Lennon. Okay, he gained fifty to a hundred pounds. There, he, they asked him how he gained all the weight. He literally gained all the weight. He said he would microwave ice cream and drink it. That sounds gross. That right? Sounds disgusting. <laughs> Just drink milk. Well, remember uh, the Machinist with? Uh, oh, that was crazy. Yeah, with, he lost uh, all Christian Bale. He under, only ate apples. Under a hundred pounds, he weighed. Yeah. Did you hear what they told him? His doctor was like, "This is horrible for your health. You should yeah. not do this." And yeah. he was like, "No, nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna do it." Just, meh. That uh, is. Creepy ass movie. Charlie's their own as For the monster. Monster, yeah. yeah. Monster. Ooh, so that, was, ooh, that, was crazy. Ooh, <laughs> that sound effect was good. I like that. That was good. <laughs> Another one. There you go. Yeah, that was a good sound effect. Yeah. Um, this okay. little soundboard's fun, right? Yeah, isn't that nice? New little element to the shoe. I like it. We should. Have- oh <laughs> no! <laughs> we should have one that says "Shut up, sprinkles." Wow. I, there's one in there, not on here, but I could get it eventually. Okay, thank you. Please. Um, what do I we sh- also- shut up, buddy. I don't say. St- I don't always say dumb things. What do you mean? You already said. Do we have tacos? I, it's a valid question because I love tacos. Do you see any tacos around here? No, but man, exactly. He could have made some. You could have brought some. You know, what? I don't like food in the studio. Boom. Oh yeah, good point. You're lucky you get a drink in here. <laughs> yeah. It's water. It's got to be in a sippy cup. Uh, it doesn't matter. You've almost spilled once or twice. Or yeah. 10. Or, you know, who's counting? I guess, not, I guess I you know, guys. Know. Yeah. That's I was like, no, 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 whatever. You're counting. It's whatever. All right. You had a bunch of questions this weekend. You texted us on stuff that you we may want to talk about. Yeah. I uh, don't the... remember exactly, but let me find out. No, I've got them here. Oh, okay. Cool. Wow. <laughs> Oh, always prepared. Thanks. I mean, I do have a piece of paper. Granted, I, there's <laughs> nothing no, it's on blank, it. Yeah, I love it. But you thanks. need to doodle. Stop. That's why we oh. just give them a blank paper. Well, so far, all I've written is episode six steak. That's <laughs> yeah. all I've written. So. He's taking notes. That's yeah, good. It's awesome. Um, your first question that I liked was uh, when to approach a celebrity for either an an autograph or a photo or just to say hi. And and this came. I, I was watching an interview from like a late night talk show. I don't I don't remember if it was Jimmy Fallon or uh, uh, Stephen Colbert, but but yeah, like I hear like I've heard of a lot of stories of these celebrities going. Yeah, I was at dinner and somebody came up and asked for an autograph. I'm like, what the fuck? No, yeah, I just I think can't that's even. Fucked up. <clears throat> so I wanted to know if like we don't live in a place where there's celebrities, but like I did for a little while. Yeah, if you lived in L.A. There's celebrities around. Depending on where you are, you're gonna see a celebrity. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> now, what are now? Let's talk about the class of celebrity here. Sure. Are we talking cream of the crop or just so, middle of the road? So yes, there's diff- if if you see like Leo, Leo DiCaprio, yeah. But if you see like one of the Duggards from this the TLC network, God, no, you better- <laughs> like I'm saying, if I saw Tom Hardy or sure. you know what Car. I mean. Or maybe even, um, yeah, like okay. or like Eminem. You we're, know what I mean. We're like, talking I'd have about a hard time Eminem. holding back. We're talking about the celebrities Dude. that are possibly trying to hide from you when oh, they, yeah. when you recognize them. Not like that guy that's like still loves it when people comes up, come up. Yeah, to him I'm talking about. I'm talking about a list oh, sure. cream of yeah, the crop. Yeah. You're yeah, talking about actors who do not want to talk to you because there's some like there are some that just hate yes. talking to fans because it's their real life and they don't want to do it. I don't, I don't think you should approach a celebrity unless they are looking like they are accepting people. Like there's already a group of people. They're talking. They're at an event. They're a function. But if they're sitting with their wife at dinner oh, yeah. and having a, just an intimate uh, meal, yeah. then no, I don't think what that's cool. What if they're walking out of the restaurant? Like you're waiting, you're stalking them and waiting outside, and then you're like, I, you know, I was watching you eat dinner, and I decided to stay the next an hour until you left to just. I wanted to say hi, like that. Okay, almost. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I think there's also a difference on whether uh, how important they are to you. Sure, that's where my thing is. If yeah. it was, you know, cream of the crop here, I'm talking. You know what I mean? Like 
Who's your favorite actor of Dr. Phil. All right, Manny, if you saw Kanye. Oh, dear. No, let's switch oh, him with Jay-Z. Yeah. All right, Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. no, I take that back. Yeah, Jay-Z. Like, oh, my God, Jay-Z, I heard you're having twins. Congratulations. I'd be like, would you it's be your a- boy? Yeah. <laughs> would you be able to hold back? Like, I mean. I don't know, man. I feel like there is nothing I can say that nobody has, that anybody has uh, hasn't already said to him oh, sure. like mm-hmm. hey you got amazing music no shit bro i make like <laughs> millions of dollars off of it mm-hmm. you know there's nothing i can say so uh i think i i probably just be like jay-z what up <laughs> and that's it you know and if i get like a, a peace sign or something from him i'll be like score i'm done and, no this is like sure you wouldn't ask for a picture and this is like walking down the street you're kind of you're too far away to like be Cruising that close down the street and you're six In, four yeah exactly okay. just like right, that perfect but yeah, you could yell, but it's you're not close enough to like shake his hand. Yeah. You, would you yell? I'd probably yell, but I I don't think I'd ask him for a photo. Okay. I wouldn't want unless he looked like he was if I've got the feeling that he's okay with him being asked, I don't I wouldn't want to inconvenience him. If he's just walking down the street, I'm not going to have him stop, take a photo <laughs> with me and then keep walking. I I think that'd be too much. Oh, uh, see, I would definitely, I'd be like, hey, like, would you mind taking a picture? And if he was like, no, I'd be like, okay, I understand. Like, have a good day. So if, it was nice meeting you. If you were in LA, buddy, mm-hmm. let's just say. I you, have an example. Okay. A can, real example. Go ahead. Can I give a fictional yeah. example? Yes. A hypothetical, if you will. Uh, let's say you're in LA. Yes. And you decided, you know what? I'm feeling a little hungry. Maybe a little hangry. I don't know. A little hangry. Uh, and you, you, you just, you're passing a Baja Fresh. You're like, I could go for a burrito right now. Uh, I don't, I like, don't like that place. Fresh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's an example of a restaurant you like then? Oscars. Yeah. Let's go. I'm okay. With Oscars. Let's find you. Let's go. Alberto's. Okay. So um, yeah, there you, you go. You go to Alberto's, and then you're like, oh, let's. I get. want a Cali B. You're getting a Cali B. Okay. And who walks in? Not Emilio Estevez. Not the Mighty Damn Duck it. Man. <clears throat> Will Ferrell. <laughs> 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 I really that wanted to good. use that. That was good. Um, I don't know if that actually fit. It just it needed to do something. No, because he's an asshole, and I've heard he's an asshole. And Will Ferrell is awesome. I sure. love Anchorman. Don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of other celebrities on this top tier that I would like, you know what I mean, lose my shit for. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, when I was living in L.A., yep. Robin and I went, on, uh, went to a – Went to dinner on our anniversary. As you do. Our dating anniversary. Oh, yeah. I've heard this story. And so we go into this really express, expensive restaurant. We the, have our meal. The Applebee's. Yes. It's the one and only. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, it makes it fancy when you yeah. say the. Yeah. You so it's the, the, the Applebee's. That's why we say the hardly. Excuse here. me. Excuse me. Concierge. Excuse me. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> Where's the bunny? Just like that. No, it's not a. No. You don't say. No. It's Applebee's. It's not Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> all those white people know how to speak Spanish. <laughs> um, no, uh, we finish our meal. Sure, walking out, none other than Kira Sedgwick oh. holds the door open for me. The and closer. I, I'm. <laughs> she's opening it this time. Wow, she's gonna close it behind me. I was trying to remember that that show. That yeah, good job. <laughs> um, so I see her, and I'm just like st- stuck. I'm like, oh shit, that's her. And I was like, all I did is say thank you. And I kept walking, and she she said, you know, you're welcome or whatever. I don't even remember. Anymore. I think I'm thinking of Polly Hunter, actually. No, you're right. She's the closer. Cl- She's one of those shows. Anyways, Holly, I'm, I don't yeah, know why. Anyways, keep going. Kira Sedgwick has a show about her being a detective or something. I don't know. Right. So um, we step out. She goes inside, um, and I'm like, holy shit, that was Kira Sedgwick. <laughs> sure. If Kira Sedgwick is here, where's Kevin Bacon? And okay. sure enough. Kevin Bacon is getting his car uh, valeted, a Prius, by the way. Um, oh, dear. And he is standing as far as he can from Robin and I. I felt like he was like, please don't bother me. I am just trying to have dinner. So Robin and I immediately start, you know, freaking out. And we start getting all giddy and pointing and like, yeah, but we're like, you know, we're not going to walk up to him and ask him for anything. Sure. But we started feeling that, and I could see that he was like, I'm going to stand over here because you guys are going to get all weird on me. Oh, dear. Um, so, yeah, that that was my experience with it. I also mm. saw T.I. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. he. Wa- I was working at, at a uh, Circuit City uh, there oh, in dear. 08 or 09 um, in L.A., uh, right across the street from the Fox Hills Mall. Oh, um, and, little uh, name drop. Yep. Yeah, Fox Hills Mall. Um, and uh, none other than fucking T.I. walks in just to cruise around, and he's got his posse with him. Oh. 
all white people <laughs> shorter than him. Of course, he yeah. once filled tall. Yeah, duh. He's small. He is small. Yeah, I'm. I'm not the tallest guy in the world, and he's t- shorter than me. Oh. Wow. Um, it was funny. Everybody was freaking out, but he was kind of inviting it. So these, all these women just just started surrounding him, going outside. You could tell he's a little younger at the time. You know, he was probably liked all that shit. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, that was those are my experiences with celebrities. I've met uh, Kobe Dick from Papa Roach. Oh, I met the we we yeah. met, we met. He was an asshole. We met. Uh, Asshole. Who did we meet? The drummer. Outside of the buses of Ace of Sp- No, not Ace no, of Spades. No, no. Where, where, it was at... Um, we were trying to see... Uh, uh, God damn, if you quit talking, I'd remember it. Well, it's, here's the uh, thing. Uh, the boardwalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, no, I yeah, We him. hung out with him, and he gave us uh, little like business cards with... Like, it was a, stickers, yeah, that he had of like... Random. A, a side band he was promoting. <laughs> but yeah, I met Kobe Dick at Arco Arena when I went to go see Incubus. Asshole. Oh, I can see that. Asshole. By the what way, what do you do to be an asshole? I just was like, "Hey, man, like Kobe Dig, like nice to meet you." And he was just like, "Where are the sweets at?" And I was like, "Fuck you!" And he just kind of looked at me and then I walked wow. off. I was like, "Fuck you!" By the way, but I mean, not- I get it. He's trying to do his own thing, but I was still pissed. Not from Sacramento, by the way. And then I met Drowning Cow Pool. Cowbell. Oh my god! I met all all of Drowning Pool. Isn't one of them dead? Yeah, I met the singer before he died. I have his autograph. I would. He is like he's like I'm not from Sacramento. I'm from back. Oh, I remember. Like, he was why on. Why M- would you say that? He was on MTV and yeah. said that. And I'm why like, bro, would you? I'd be like, yeah, I'm from San Francisco. Yeah, oh, I'd rather no say shit. I'm from Oakland. Yeah, like, exactly. I met E40. Stockton. I met E40. A couple nice. Weeks yeah, ago. you showed me the photo. That's what? nice. He was in sack. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't tell you guys the story. Well, uh, uh, you hey. didn't tell the story. Now, go ahead. My buddy Ian called me and was like, "Hey, man, you got to go to Dimple Records on Arden, which is right around uh, my house." So he's like, E40 is going to be there. And Michelle was like, over the moon. Okay. So we get there, and he's released his double album. Yeah. It's the red one and the blue one. Sure. Uh-huh. So we're waiting there in line and shit. And Michelle's like, super juiced. And she's like, you excited? I'm like, you know, I like E40. I think he's cool. But am I like, oh my God, it's E40? <laughs> and so she goes up and she gets a picture with him. And uh, she look, uh, he looks at me and he's like, hey, like, you want a picture? And I was like, <laughs> Uh, all right yeah yeah, and i was just like like telling him i was like hey i just want you to know like my jam like of yours my favorite is anybody can get it Uh and it was a song he did with little john in like 2004 yeah and he he lights up and he just looks at me and he was like dude that's my old school shit he was like and starts spitting the rap and i was like oh that's dope he like gave me a high five we had a fucking picture it was pretty dope but i liked it he was like just really surprised that I pulled something like That's funny. Cause that album didn't That's not well even that me. old though. That's two thousand and four. Dude, I would have pulled I would have been like fucking sideways, bro. He would have been uh, like, fuck it. This well, is my see, new best friend right here. <laughs> that's what I thought was funny is Ian was bent because Ian came up uh with his old school like first tape. Yeah. And he was like, Hey, will you sign this? He's like, Okay, and he just like signed it oh, that's and like lame. brushed him off. And That's he was weird. like, dude, I thought this fool was going to go ape shit. Where I tell him a song from 2004 that this fool started rapping. <laughs> That's weird. That's and crazy. And Ian was bent. He's like, man, fuck you. Like, I pulled something out old school. Oh, shit. I got another story. Oh, my God. All right. Let me um hold on. What? Did, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Never mind. Ian was just telling me he was uh, driving down, I was it Antelope? Somewhere out there and saw Brother Lynch doing work project. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Hey. And he uh, mentioned it, it at his show. The guy, uh, the you know the the manager that used to work at Kingsgate that still works at Kingsgate. Wow, I didn't know he still worked there. Billy, they uh, got, they've got oh uh, Billy. He just posted a picture with Brother Lynch. Oh yeah, yeah. He just played. I went and saw him not that long ago. They must have really good benefits there. At- oh, they do. You get free skate rentals. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Sign me up. Free cup of water, and discounted popcorn, yo. Yes. <laughs> that wasn't even I that bad. It. it wasn't. I just needed a reason to push it. I like it. Bunch I like the soundboard. <laughs> but that I didn't say it was dead. that bad. I'm just saying it's it's not good to get popcorn uh, no, as a benefit. So really, not Aaron. Exa- so if you saw Kevin Smith, you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I would. No, I would. I would ask. I would try to talk to him, even if he was in the middle of a meal. No. Maybe if it was Baja Fresh. 
but or like, that steak. Now, he's eating that same steak. Yeah. Or at the Applebee's. I wouldn't, you know, he's probably with his wife and his daughter. Would and you I don't ask wanna... him to be like, can I have your hockey jersey that you have on right and now? And he'd be like, can I have $300, please? I'm like, all right, cool. Here you go. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, I would, I would go up to Kevin Smith because anecdotally, I've heard he's a nice guy to his fans. Yeah, I don't know. There's just some that I think I couldn't hold back. A couple musicians and then, you know, like a handful of actors. I think, yeah, I think he's probably one of the only ones I'd be like, I really want to talk to you because, he, you know, he You'd does. You'd be like, hey, I do this podcast. <clears throat> Can you please listen and please promote? Oh, no, yeah. I would. Well, he, he, he's been known, uh, like, at his live shows, people will come up uh, and he does Q&As. And, and they're like, you know, I just started a podcast and you're my inspiration. I just want to say thank you. And then every time he goes, what's your podcast? Say it right now. And it's always on his live show, like tapes. It's pretty cool. So nice. Get on that. What? Just go to a live show? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds. I, mean, I guess you got time. Okay. Fine. Yeah, you got nothing but time. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I'll do it. I mean, okay. Bye. I think I. Do you have a sound for that? I c- no, I don't. Not in here. I do have. One. Yeah. There you go. There's our sound effect. Nice. <laughs> Had to reach. <laughs> Had to reach. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay. Uh. Anyways. Um. Kevin Smith says hi. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, this leads us into the news about the Batman. Ah! Oh, dear. He's angry. That's the sound he makes when you have days, and you don't have days today. I do. <laughs> you, <laughs> Shh. I thought we were going to get to the fucking episode without that. I didn't want you didn't to forget it. it okay. Well, I can just go. It, by the okay. way, it's Groundhog's Day today. Groundhog Day. Groundhog's Day. Groundhog Day. <laughs> Groundhog's. Agree to disagree. When in Rome. You know, yes, yes, go on. <clears throat> car insurance day, hello. Got guys got car insurance? I've got it. Because I can sell you some if you'd like. Fifteen percent or less. Change your password day. <sighs> I need to do that. Yeah. I've got I've had the all same my passwords are the same. I've had the same password for eleven years. You haven't been hacked? No. I've been hacked. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I hackers? Just, That's yeah, a recently. good movie. We already talked about it. didn't we yeah, we talked about hackers. No, yeah, I know. I just wanted to bring it up. All again. right. G. I. Joe Day. Ooh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I like the edges. And Spunky Old Boards Day. What is that? Huh? I don't know. It says, uh, I was trying to go through. There's a lot. You need to do a little research on these days. Spunky Old Boards Day. Spunk what kind of research? Spunky board? Spunky, like your old board. You got your old board. Spunky Old Board. I got my Spunky Old Board here. Like a skateboard? Sure. Surfboard? Sure. What the fuck are you <laughs> talking Game about? board? Sure. Game Boy? Uh, no. Oh. I said board, duh. All right, sure. Whatever. I'm bored with your spunk. Thanks. <laughs> we could take turns, by the way, using this. Maybe next episode somebody else uses it, so I, I'm not just the I like hate. the. No, I like it. I controller just wall. hate everybody. I just hate. There's so much hate. It's I know. Fun. I know one person you do love. Love the rug. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> Ugh. No. Uh, no. No. Not at no. all. No. No. Okay. No. All right. Go get on with your Batman news. All right, so uh, he doesn't want to direct the fucking movie. Yeah. Uh, How do you guys feel about it? I. How do you really feel, this buddy? Is, this is going <laughs> to be shitty. I feel that DC bad. or well, you know, Warner Brothers is in DeathCon One. They're oh, fucked. Yeah. They're done, man. I this mean, is... after the Flash, you know, and then Aquaman had its hiccups in the beginning, and then you know. Um, yeah. BVS got, you know, not great reviews and Ben Affleck is so well loved, you know, and so uh, critically acclaimed and has been doing nothing but good work. Yeah. Live by Night was was a critical. Do- no, it that, that did horrible at the box office. Yeah. But his other movies have done really good. And I'm sure. worried about I think he doesn't want to attach his name to this because he's seen. I think he saw from the outside looking in before this all started. Yeah. He's like, dude, look at Marvel. It can't be that hard. (laughs) Like, they're making money hand over fist. He signs on, and, you know, BVS was just not loved. Do you you understand? He signed on to the Batman as the writer, director, and actor. That's a lot to bite off of. It it Uh, really is. um, It's. This is the first time he'll ever be doing. Um, he he. This was going to be the first time he was going to do a, an action movie. He's yep. never done an action movie, and he's never done something this big. And period. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Batman versus Superman was the first time he's been in big budget movie like that. I, yeah, yeah. Um. So this is all new to him, really. From the interviews I've seen with him, 
it was just too much. Like he took on too much. He wa- he loves being Batman, but he wants to be Batman. He doesn't want to talk to reporters about how the script's going and how this and how that and what's going on with this and is it okay and is it okay? Is it better? Is it bad? Is it good? Is it? No, he doesn't want. Yeah, that. but that's what I was hoping they were going to be able to hang their hat on. Yeah, and I mean, what do you do now? Because you. Christopher Nolan's not going to come back and do Batman. Oh, no, he's done. I don't want him to do it. Um, oh, I would love if Christopher Nolan came yeah, back. Yeah, but he's not going to come back and do it. He's just not, um, <laughs> He's been there, done that. He's thing. also, uh, they've also rewritten the script. They're they're rewriting the script. Yeah, yeah, and he's not rewriting it. They're rewriting his script. Yeah, Jeff, so is Jeff John still doing it's it? It's Chris Tar- Terrio, the one that wrote the Batman vs. Superman. There it is. And Justice League. So now he's out. Of the script, so now he's just starring in it, and um, it's people thinking he's going to drop out. I, I, I could see that as a possibility, and, and if it's he, done. If, if he, he does, if it's he done. drops out, if the DCU is done. done. Yeah. If they have to reboot it, which they won't for another five to ten years. Yeah. It'll be over. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's just it's. But what sucks is Wonder Woman still will come out. Yeah, but that's it, and. Justice gonna, League. They'll try to fill the spot. It'll just be awful. Well, but it's a whole other person. Technically, uh, because like we talked about Flash. No, I don't even think they go through with it. You think they cancel the whole thing? What are you going to do? You can't replace Batman. You know what I mean? And try to keep going. George Clooney, Val Kilmer, everybody. No, I understand that. Was, everybody that. agrees that was bad. Yeah. Yeah, but that was all different. Bat- this sure. is a movie that they already had a bond and he started. To show who Batman is, what do you do from there? You'd have to scrap everything and start over. Yeah, I don't know. So, you got, do you guys have any ideas on who you would like to see? Not Christopher Nolan. Uh, what, yeah. Directed? By the way, speaking of flat before uh, speaking of Flash, w- before all the stuff happened with the Flash, Flash was supposed to start filming this month and when it, it they first started. Even started. No, they're they're oh. rewriting the script for yeah. Flash, and they still haven't found a director. Man, and Ezra Miller is just sitting there like, "Hey guys." I'm still here. He's still like he's still he still he wants to play the Flash. I just think that um, I I enjoy just about everything that Ben Affleck has put out for the most part. I think sure. so. Even his own movies, uh, the Town was awesome. I like the, the Town. town. Was the Town was great. Yeah. Yes. I think he makes good decisions. So it scares me to think somebody like him, where I enjoy the decisions he makes in his movies, is deciding to step back from this. It just yeah it it's giving me a clue that they're not this is not going to go off it's not going to but i mean if you really look at it what what uh universes besides marvel's you know has really done well star wars Mm -mm. well yeah but that's owned by disney as well now it is. you just asked me the question yeah but i'm saying besides what disney has touched (laughs) what is really doing good in the superhero universe nothing oh x-men fox but that's that's kind of They've just done enough just to make a, the next movie. Yeah. I mean, it's been popular enough to make more movies. Because Ghostbusters but... is a dud. Yep. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, Fast and Furious. You might not like it, but it's doing good. It's actually doing better than it ever has. They have a cult following, though. Yeah, yeah I'm just... I don't know. I don't feel like... All right. I don't know. I worry about the superhero type of thing. I think either what's going to happen is they're just going to cancel this whole thing and be done with it and just give up because they there's no way they can come back from this if he leaves. Yeah. Well, they can they they can come back. DC w- will always try again. They're never going to not try to have Yeah, but I'm saying with this list of characters yes. they have Unless for some freak reason that sure. Wonder Woman makes a billion dollars. It'll get close. It won't make a billion, but it'll make a lot. Because and I just don't know what you do if he leaves. That throws everything off. Because I know Henry Cavill wants to keep going. Yeah. Everybody does because on paper it looks good. But yeah, do you think that means Suicide Squad's done too? I think so. That's not that difficult to believe. Gotham because... City Sirens is already in production. But their shows never have any. Oh, is that a movie? That's a movie. That's uh, Harley Quinn. Oh, all the Bat girls. Girl and yeah, yeah. It's already in production? I or think it's pre-production, I'm sorry. Post. Pre, yeah. Pre-production. Um, So... I just don't think there was enough to pull from Suicide Squad. None of those characters besides Harley Quinn were – are you able to put backstories to it? Half of them are done. But that's what they I'm saying just, is do you keep going 
to try to do these sprout off movies if he does leave? Or do you think they just replace him as Batman altogether? I don't think it's worth it to try to carry this on. I think they should just Because I think they were the hanging off. their hat on Ben Affleck to almost scooch out Zack Snyder. Well, that was the only part of any of these DC movies that people kind of agreed on is that Batman was good, right? He was good as Batman. Yep. It, he, yeah. He worked out. And that one thing is now slowly In moving its jeopardy. way outside of the door. I just wonder if he's seen the writing on the wall and doesn't like how... Because before BVS came out, he was all over the moon saying, you guys are going to be blown away. This movie's amazing. It's so awesome. And then it came out, and he got nothing but shit from and it. And they put Simon and Garfunkel over <laughs> Just remember, yeah. though, I, I know we're talking. It's, it's going to... We're very anxious and kind of worried but I, I i'm telling you right now if they're they're gonna make the batman movie they're gonna make it it's gonna be made yeah because that's what they care about there it's too they far. can they'll push flash they'll push aquaman well, so they can make the batman, batman sells tickets and no matter what happens even if it's like mediocre it's gonna make a lot of money because the critics hated Suicide Squad and BVS, but those made a lot of money. And as long as they make money, they're going to keep making the movies. Yet- yeah, but I'm talking about building the universe. No, I know, but I don't think Ben Affleck's going to drop out of it. I, I don't think. Um, it-, it It's scary right now, but I don't think if they if they keep making money with, like, if, if um, Justice League makes a lot of money, he's not dropping out. It's period, end of story. I just think Ben Affleck is... Like he he's was on top before BVS. Everything he was doing was pretty popular, and everybody was talking about how he was up and coming and doing all these great things with Fargo and yeah. all the other stuff he was doing. He was liking all that, and then he jumped on BVS, and everybody's like, "Oh shit, this is going to be awesome!" And now that he's kind of getting a taste of bad shit, oh, is there- I don't know if he's going to really want to keep. Keep sticking around where he can do his own thing. The town, you know, he can do other movies and, you know. I think he's just better at smaller budget stuff. It's just easier to wrap your head around when you're, you know, when you're working on a movie like uh, like the Batman, you're st- standing in front of a green screen for half the time. And you know, he's probably you like answer this. to a lot more people. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. There's well. so much, there's so many people that have to make this movie and make this world work. Yeah. And there's continuity and all this crap. That they have to worry about, but I, I really do. I, 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 at the end of the day, I do think that Batman is what they're banking on, and I think that they're gonna find somebody, and it's gonna be okay. It's sad, man, because I mean, I watched honestly, I watched Batman versus Superman again this last weekend, and I nice. enjoy watching him as Batman. I was like, I just kept waiting for his scenes to come up. <laughs> I wish he would have been Batman over Christian Bale. Ooh, that was that's tough, but yeah, that, I mean, as a Batman, like he definitely has a better Batman voice, which is funny because I don't think people would actually consider Ben Affleck to have a good Batman voice. But I loved that they put that that modulator over his yeah. voice. Kevin I know a Smith's lot of people idea, don't like I, that, whatever, like the <laughs> thing over his voice. But I he loved looked it. like Batman. No, it was where he's it, bigger. It was, he's jacked. jacked. He's got yeah, that. I love that shit. That swagger. You know, like when he's talking with Alfred, I liked all of that. I liked seeing drunk Batman, too. Yeah. He was like getting up out of bed and drinking fucking wine straight yeah. out of bed. And I just thought beer. he was I a cool it. Batman. And, you know, in what was that? Yeah, it was in uh, The Dark Knight Returns, the last one. He was so small and just, I don't know. And his voice was awful, Christian yeah. Bales. Yeah, I, I like the, the idea of changing your voice because yeah. yes, you're Bruce Wayne, you're worldly. Everybody knows who Bruce Wayne is. So it makes sense in the real world to change your voice. Yeah. The way Christian Bale did it wasn't great. Awful. Uh, but it's a good concept. So, but with the, with, with the modulator, it worked. It, it was good and it, it worked, but you know, just my favorite part in BVS is where he crashes the car and, and Superman rips open the top and Batman just stands up. I'm like, and he, yes, Batman is standing inside the seat yeah. and he's still the same height as Superman where Superman is standing on top of the car. Yeah. Okay. So he's actually about like, you know, six to seven inches taller than Batman. Uh, sure. Taller oh, than Batman. Man, and I love yeah, that. Yeah, that was part. badass. 
do you bleed? Yeah, <laughs> you will. will. Oh my god, that movie is so awesome. I hate how people hate on that movie. I think it's great. And then, I'm yeah. sorry. I just feel like people are <laughs> so all about Disney and the Marvel universe, which they have done good. But in all honesty, all of if you would have told me, you know, so many years ago, we'd have all these superhero movies. I'd be like, no way. I mean, I just think they're all good. Well, I mean, I heard they Powerless are their own not doing, It didn't wasn't that great. Wait, the first it, episode. I thought it was today. Is it today? I maybe sh- they they had already screened it. Maybe for oh the critics and blah yeah. blah. Well, like, it's eh. it it looks campy. It looks cheesy. Super campy. I just um, get I get a little scared that they just take like let's just take the idea sure. and then we'll just do a bunch of just a funny sitcom and just throw in. Batman comic book yeah. superhero refer- that's what it, references. They're already talking about how they because technically DC is a multiverse, the multiverse or whatever. Yeah. They're already talking about bringing Grant Gustin's The Flash onto Powerless. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Uh, which I mean, I whatever, like that they do bring that. everybody on. I don't get bring Ben Affleck on Powerless if you can get him. No, you know, uh, it, no. But okay, real quick, we were gonna talk about that, but we did, we kind of went off course a little bit. So, who are your choices for a director? I got two Millers. Tim Miller, who did Deadpool, because he's not doing Deadpool now. He's done. Ooh, yeah, yeah. He, that's a good shit. good choice. And uh, uh, George. Uh, George Miller. That was my choice. George Miller. Or, or You know what? No, no, no. Get a co-directed Tim and George Miller Batman. The, the, George, oh, the Millers. The Millers. Yeah. <laughs> Meet the that Millers. That would dude. actually be perfect. <laughs> Meet if they the got, Millers. You know George Miller did uh, Mad, Mad Max. Max. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Either one I'd be happy with. Because I think they have that good tone that for that movie, yeah. the Batman. Yeah, that'd shit. Be awesome. If they can do um, anything like Mad Max, oh my god, the, the movie was so fucking awesome. Man, there's this uh, Michelle McLaren. She's done. She does TV. She's done Breaking Bad. She's done Game of Thrones. She's a really good director. She's done a lot, and I think uh, uh, that's the type of movie where she could re- because she does good action. Uh, mm-hmm. I can't remember. She didn't do Battle of the Bastards. Uh, she did another one that she does action. She does okay. Walking Dead too, but she does. She's a really good director, and I like her. To I like to take. I think it'd be cool to bring somebody that's not a big director, not a big Hollywood big budget director, and bring him in from TV because TV. I mean, we're getting a they're lot of just, good directors from TV. They're a Deathcon one. They got to pull. I think they're feeling that they got to pull a big name out of the hat because, like they said, I mean, Zack Snyder is not well loved. Mm-mm, and they've no. had nothing but stutters and, you know, just not hitting their marks. Yeah. So and quick question. Big... Who's to blame for a bad movie? I felt like this is one of your questions. And yeah. I kind of felt like that was way too broad of a question. But here's the thing is when, when a bad movie comes out, peop, this is they don't blame the actors. They don't blame the they blame two people. They either blame the writer or the director. Most of the time, it's the director. I kind of always think it's the director is the leader. You They're, gotta remember, he didn't write that script. Though. I know, but he has influence on the script. Boom, he has influence exactly. on everything. He know. is the final say. Because you gotta think as a director, if all right, I'm taking a shot. I'm like, all right, I want you to do this, and they're like, okay, because they have the ultimate vision in their head of what the movie is yeah. going to be. And they've looked over the script and read it and been like, all right, I can do this. If you say you can make a good movie out of a script, sure. They're putting it all in your hands. That's yeah. why I feel it's always the director's fault. I agree. But granted, I mean, look with these big budget ones, if let's say there was a bad, a director didn't like what the writer wrote. A lot of the times with these big budget movies, he can't be like, yeah, no, rewrite the script. No, he doesn't have that power. Well, look, what's his name from Deadpool? He left. Um, yeah, I, that they've I, OK. So there's always every movie has their sure. own uh, their own setup, their own agreements. Sure. Um, a producer in one movie might do way more than the producer in the next movie. So I really think it just depends. It goes from movie to movie. Um, but if you were to just ask me overall, I do think it's the director. I, I think they do have some influence just watching a little bit of, um, you ever watch that show, uh, uh, green, is it green light? It was on HBO with uh, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon and they, Oh, they, I know what you're talking about. I don't know the name. I know people get about. to win an, an um, the, the ability to make their own movie oh, with yeah, their budget. Heard about that. And you learn a lot about how things mm. get put together and producers have to watch the money and, uh, you know, you got the writers and the directors. 
So yeah, it was a lot. So I don't know. I just think that was kind of a, yeah. a broad uh, question, but sure. it it yeah. But, but at the end of the day, that's who I mean. That's who gets blamed. It's yeah, it's so nobody else. You know the 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 uh, the director of photography doesn't get blamed. The uh, the lighting nobody gets it's those two people it's either the right. writer or the director who gets blamed not even the actors even though they should some of them should well, get yeah, blamed but look at like maggie gillenhall in sure. the dark knight she sucked really she was the worst part I, of that movie i liked her way more than i like katie holmes no i'd rather have katie holmes i just don't think there was a big enough difference to switch out the, the sure. actor i don't think well she was katie, pregnant that's why they didn't have i thought they back. just didn't like her no that's why she didn't come back because she was pregnant with uh Tom Cruise's kid. Scientology baby. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to so say. So that's why she didn't come back, but I thought she was horrible in the whole movie. Alrighty. I didn't really care for any of them, but I just would have wished that they just stuck with one. I mean, they killed her off in the second one. Why didn't they just <laughs> kill her? Yeah. Oh, they dear. fucking hide her belly, and then she'd be dead by the end of the movie. Oopsie doopsie. Because she had a decent amount of part in the movie. Spoiler alert. Oh, dear. She For does. a six-year-old movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, should we get into Sidekick Mail? Yeah. Yeah. Sidekick Mail. Oh, dear. I like that. Can we get that one more time, please? Sidekick Mail. I turned it up a little bit. Oh, I like dear. that. I got to really work on these levels. Yeah. It's yeah. Great. So uh, we only have one. We have one email. Un. Un email. Uh, that was French, by the way. If you didn't know that you said that, that was French. Thank Un, you. Who is it from? Uh, Uno? <sighs> Jay Jackals. I've got a sound for that, too. <laughs> Jackal thoughts. I get Jay Jackal. <laughs> Hold on, play that again so I laugh. Jackal thoughts oh with Jay Jackal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like that he has his own What about his, uh, his nickname? Do we have a sound for that? Well, we have to get to the email oh, okay. first. When we get to the email, well, I'll play that. All right. So uh, this email is entitled "Everything," uh, every fucking episode. Oh, I thought it was gonna be "Everything is Awesome." No, 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 oh. not that. No, it wasn't a song from Lego Movie. Thought he was describing our Everything show. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Okay. What is this? I don't. Okay. Everything Are you, is you awesome. Reading? No, I'm gonna read it. But okay. he's singing. When you're living oh your God. dream. Five hours later. There we go. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Woo! All right, go Everything ahead. is awesome. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, th- go. Okay. So, uh, this is from Jay Jackal. Uh, it, it, it is entitled Every Fucking Episode. Okay. It goes... Is uh, good? Nope. Oh. Nope. That's it's great. amazing. I, no, trust me. I would have let you know if I left out a word. Oh, right. Didn't leave out that word. Is delicious? N- no. Okay. No. Right. But I do like delicious dishes. <laughs> Delicious tacos? <laughs> do, no, do, we don't. Oh. No, we don't have any fucking tacos. Fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> Every single fucking episode, you always find a way to talk about the stupid fucking movie Labyrinth. Oh, by the way, yeah. Have you seen that movie lately, dude? It's good. It's a really it it oh stands up to the, still holds up. Really man. does. <laughs> really good anyways now i just want to now i just want to watch the movie i yeah. just want to sing all the songs we should watch that movie live oh my god let's do podcast. it <laughs> <laughs> anyways i'm sorry go ahead scene by scene <laughs> yeah. oh that'd break be down every minute yes okay so uh, uh stupid fucking movie labyrinth that movie is so fucking lame no it isn't uh i can just see manny sitting on the floor in his bedroom with the light down low his <laughs> completely off Oh, not not whoa! Not whoa. even dimmed. Oh, <laughs> geez. To throw his phone at yeah, me. I am. Uh, so with his light down low, his wife at work, and nobody around. Nobody. Set in the mood. <clears throat> he then pulls out his labyrinth dolly collection and plays with them like a little girl. I do. Is that how you watch the labyrinth? He must be watching through the window. I knew it. <laughs> He's a no, I didn't catch you playing with your dolls again. <laughs> I mean, what, I don't understand what's wrong with that. I have a Ludo doll. I play with him all the time. Ludo do you, sad. Do you stick him up your butthole, uh, cubby hole? No, that's just where bread goes. Okay. All right. to make Why sure. would I stick Ludo in my butthole? Uh, <laughs> oh, Calling the, the rocks. The bog of eternal stench. Yeah. Right? Is that bog of eternal yeah, stench? Yeah. You got it. Look, wow. Can, the things he can remember. I know. Really. <laughs> 
<laughs> every time they step on a rock. The original Rocket Raccoon, man, he, even though he was a dog. Yeah. But he looked, yeah, yeah it was yeah, the same thing. All right, uh, anyways, you. I'll keep going. So I think he's done talking about Labyrinth. I think he likes it a lot more. He to- he, he brings it up. To talk Look, about it. I wouldn't have brought up Ludo if he wouldn't have brought up the Labyrinth. That's all I'm saying. The email continues. Continue. I have given you plenty of show ideas. And here's a list. Top five places. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <no. laughs> Top five places you peed other than the toilet. <laughs> Actually, that's a, that's good, a one. good one. I like that. it on the list. Okay. Top five things you've used to wipe your butt besides toilet paper. Yeah, I don't have five. Loaf of bread. Uh, a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> Top five places Sprinkles goes to masturbate to pictures of Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Love the Rudd. Oh, come on. And that's it. For the top five. So stop calling me a sidekick. I'm a villain. I'm Oga Troll. Oga Troll. There it is. Yes. <laughs> I am Han Solo. I am Jay Jekyll. Love Jay Jekyll. Jackal thoughts with Jay Jekyll. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I love that. And by the way, you are not Han Solo. I am Han Solo. And you're totally. I have the action figure to prove it. Does that mean I'm Jubilee? Yeah, of course you're Jubilee. <laughs> Fuck. Because I got Jubilee. I, I, I forgot that I was given Jubilee for Christmas. Yeah. And I brought down the little basket because I wanted to get the blankie out. Oh, and I was like, oh, the there's, blankie there's is so Jubilee. Nice. It is nice. I like it. A little whole can. Whole can. I love it. So that was it. That's all the that's that's all we got. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that is all we have. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, where can they reach us? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys oh don't yeah, have yeah. Anymore. I don't have it. I have a blankie. They can reach us at Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. At Hardly Heroes. That's right. They can reach us on Twitter at Hardly Heroes one, and they can email us at Hardly Heroes at gmail dot com. Yes, Give sir. That is correct. I like That's it. That's all we got. Oh, oh dear. yeah. Will you guys have a good night? See ya. Bye. <laughs>